This is Saturday Morning Mysteries. And we're your hosts, Alexis and Grace. Good morning. Happy Saturday morning. And welcome back to yet another episode of Saturday Morning Mysteries, where we are your hosts. I'm Alexis. I'm Grace. And we are continuing, actually concluding, I believe. This is our last episode of our Powerpuff Girls. No, I think you have one more after this. Do I? Oh, that's right. I do have one Uh more. That's (laughs) right. I was like, Grace, this is your fourth one. So we're done, right? All right. One week away (laughs) from concluding, we're winding (laughs) down on our Powerpuff Girl arc. You're good at math. I am not. There we (laughs) go. Last week. Boom. And uh, yes. So as as my... uh, mistake there has alluded grace is on deck today yes for indeed our I am. seventh episode examining the crimes and the the burdens caused by the powerpuff girls <laughs> i mean i mean all of their villains and the I dangerous mean, monsters the attacking townsville yeah, yeah same uh-huh. the day destroying a lot of shit accidentally killing people collateral damage you know it's all in a day's work yeah what's well, it worth to them for protection <laughs> true who knows yeah so Funny that you mentioned that specifically, because (laughs) my episode today, I'm going to submit as a piece of evidence against the cost of the Powerpuff Girls to Townsville. Oh, gosh. Is it worth the cost of these children? Now, don't get me wrong. I love the Powerpuff Girls with all my heart and soul. Mm -hmm. And I realize people make mistakes and can't control some things like what happens in this episode. Sure. But to continue to fund them with taxpayer dollars after this situation. Okay. Yeah. We'll discuss at the end. We may debate. Okay. Talk about it. What are they going to do? Yes. So buckle up. Uh... So this episode starts out hot with this enormous giant like spiky tailed cyclops monster who is <laughs> literally eating the town like a snack it's just taking chomps out of the town and he has like these gold metal claws he's just crazy ass monster mm-hmm. but <clears throat> just as this high rise sized monster reaches town hall the mayor is frantically calling the powerpuff girls screaming for help and right as he does the monster punches through the roof of town hall and clamps the mayor up and rips him out of the town hall, Uh-oh. like ripping the phone cord with him. And he's just like still screaming for help for the Powerpuff Girls. Um, takes him into the sky with his little golden claw. And is basically, I'm pretty sure, like holding him over his mouth. Like he's about to just eat. He's a little cherry on top of uh, the Townsville mm. meal that this monster is consuming. Um <laughs> <clears throat> But luckily, the girls get there just in time, and they absolutely destroy this monster as per usual. Mm-hmm. We don't see them do all of it, but we we do see the aftermath, which is literally just the amputated arm of the monster, and not just like a, oh, his arm's off. We see a bone sticking out of this, like, decapitated <laughs> arm. That's like at one point still attached to the professor and or not the professor, the mayor and the mayor like wiggles yeah. out of it. And then just like clumps on the floor of just like claw, forearm, bone protruding from the arm. Ew. It's gross. Yeah. You know, that shit would be definitely like dripping with blood. Yep. Yeah. That monster <laughs> is bleeding out on the street right now. And they yeah, just awesome. left him there. <laughs> so the mayor is obviously very happy that he was not a monster snack and that his mm-hmm. life was saved. But even happier when the Powerpuff Girls fly into the office and return his little top hat that fell off when he got snatched by the monster. How kind. Yes, how kind. They're very thorough. So since this attack was so personal to the mayor, he wants to reward the Powerpuff Girls. He's like, thank you so much for saving the day. Thank you for saving me. What can I ever do for you? And ever humble, the girls say, no, 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 we don't need a reward. Like, we're superheroes it's just what we do this is just part of the deal we're just good forces but the mayor insists he's like yeah we're forces period we are (laughs) they all just look at each other (laughs) all all four of them silence for a second (laughs) um and so the mayor though is like look i am the mayor of townsville what do you want like do you want like a statue in your honor we could make like a citywide holiday of powerpuff girls day but again and again the girls are like no 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 
know, no need. It's the pleasure of the work is why we do this. Good so on that, them. Yeah, good on them. They don't need possessions after this to yeah. reward They're humble. them. They're very humble. Mm-hmm. And so the mayor is just like, all right, fine girls. Like, I hear you. I see you. Like, at least like take a piece of candy for the road. Like, will you at least do that? And he pulls out this like giant jar, glass jar of like gumballs and takes the lid off. And just this blossom, it's like, no, no, like one, we don't need a reward. And two, the professor doesn't let us have candy. Mm. But Bubbles and Buttercup have already reached in and snatched themselves a piece. And they're just like, (laughs) holding it looking at blossom and again they all just like look at each other for a second because they're like bubbles and buttercup are both holding it like about to put it in their yeah. mouths and blossom is just like well i guess the professor won't know if we just have one it's okay so it's how the trouble always starts just one hit so it's <laughs> blossom takes the piece of candy <laughs> And they all, Uh we see one by one, they'll pop it into their little mouths and they start cautiously kind of chewing it, being like, oh, this is not really sugary. Like, oh, this is Mm -hmm. a lot. And then the the slow chewing kind of gives way to kind of like nodding at each other and being like, "Mm, mm, 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 mmm, this is Mm -hmm. pretty good. But then (laughs) it keeps going and the like noises of like, "Mm, yum, gives way to these very like, very strange noises of like pleasure and all of their eyes are closed and they're like almost like groaning while they eat it and the mayor is literally going uh girls girls and then their eyes open and all the girls start giggling at each other while they're chewing and the giggling gives way to laughing hysterically and like uncontrollably and then like in Willy Wonka they start floating up into the sky a little bit and then again the mayor's like uh girls girls he gave them the he gave them candy from the wrong container in his pocket (laughs) He's like, shit, yeah, was, was that the one out of the tights. left pocket or the right pocket? <laughs> yeah. Oopsies. You don't want to make that mistake. <laughs> and so they're up in the air, just laughing uncontrollably. And then they all slowly, like light as a feather, float back down onto the ground and are in just like these faces of like utter like ecstasy and like euphoria. And they like sit up and like lean on the mayor's desk. And one of them just goes, that was amazing. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. There's so many things I want to say. Oh my God. It's very uncomfortable to see three kindergartners going through this experience. Yeah. Listen. So they all immediately reach their hands in for another piece, and the mayor hits their little That's hands away and pulls it away, closes the lid, and points out, like, no, no, you saved the day once. So you get one piece of candy and all of them are like what you took it away from us you took the candy away until one of them asks like wait wait wait. does this mean if we save the day again we get another piece and the mayor is like okay sure like if that's what you want as your reward one piece of candy for one day saved excellent so they immediately agree and zip home so they can be by their hotline phone waiting for a call from the mayor to come solve a crime or fight a monster in Townsville. But that's all they're doing. They're just waiting. They're staring at the... <laughs> oh, 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 for, oh, for listeners. Sorry. Oh, oh yeah. If aggressively. you're not, if you're just listening and not watching. <laughs> side, side little plug. Check us out on YouTube. Sometimes you miss some very funny <laughs> facial expressions and whatnot yes. that you're not getting if you're only listening to the podcast and Good not plug. watching. Anyway. Good plug. Yeah. <laughs> but you are correct in that little tweaker motion you just did because they're <laughs> staring at the phone. They're staring at the ceiling. They're twiddling their thumbs. They're growing more and more impatient and desperate mm-hmm. and butter buttercups staring out the windows and start seeing the tops of trees turning into gumballs and oh, bubbles no. is doodling and her doodles turn into turn into gumballs <clears throat> and blossom is just brushing her hair in the mirror and her whole head in the mirror turns into a giant gumball. Mm. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> Dude, this is not good. Anyway, sorry. 
Oh, Gone. you are correct in that sentiment. <laughs> Buttercup eventually snaps and just starts screaming at the phone to ring. And Blossom calms her down and Bubbles just like lays down and goes like, I sure could use some candy right now. Oh, no. <laughs> so like you said, they are starting to tweak. Yeah. Out without their yeah. fix. So Blossom agrees, but is like, look, girls, like our hands are tied in order. Professor doesn't let us ha- have candy. In order to get candy, we need to save the day. But in order mm-hmm. to save the day, we need someone to commit a crime. And then all of a sudden, light bulb. And you already know with that setup, it's not going to be a good light bulb. <laughs> so we yeah. see, suddenly we jump tonight. They've been able to stay strong throughout the day. Okay. They coped. They coped somehow. And um, we see them, we suddenly see a dark alleyway of Townsville. And we see the Powerpuff Girls. All standing on one each, like each other's shoulders in a dark trench coat, <laughs> <laughs> like a big hat, like tilted in front of their eyes. Yeah. Blossoms on top, and then I think bubbles, and then Buttercup, but just like, oh, my gosh. <laughs> yeah, that's how they're. <sighs> that's how this they're is, all standing. This is definitely an adult woman in this <laughs> trench coat. Yes. Like definitely no wonderful disguise. Yeah. <laughs> so um, again, she thinks her hands are tied. They're mm-hmm. either in this trench coat and they're talking to someone and in a raspy voice, you hear them telling this other figure because they're faking the, the voice, but it's funny because you still see like their giant eyes. Like it's very clearly yeah. a, a small child, whatever. They say, thank you for coming. We're in need of your services. All you need to do is what you do best. Then take the fall and we'll, we'll bust you out. What do you say? And then we see them shake hands and you see the other figure take their hat off laughing. And they've just made a deal with Mo, Joe, oh, Joe. This mf he's mm-hmm. back. <laughs> he's back, right. baby. And goodness, look at these Powerpuff girls going under the cloak of darkness to... Mm-hmm. Makes it oh, fun. it's all for the fix. All right. Shady ass deals. Yep. Because yeah. <laughs> again, Cran, solve the day or solve the crime piece of candy mm-hmm. so the next day we see mojo jojo like laser beaming the town left and right and we see the girls fly in and kick his butt and throw mm-hmm. him into jail get a piece of candy from the mayor of course. and then we see mojo he's sitting in his jail cell just kind of like twiddling his thumbs like so uh next part of this deal is it uh is it gonna happen did you guys just put me in put me in jail what's uh yeah. what's the deal here <laughs> and we see they're good on their word because they literally bust through the wall of the jail cell and Damn. free mojo jojo um and they once again make another deal with him they're like this worked out well we got our piece of candy oh my goodness let's do it again and so we see again the next day Mojo committing a crime, Powerpuff Girls beating him up, throwing him in jail, getting a piece of candy, busting down another wall of the jail, breaking him free. And every time this happens, Mojo is just smiling and laughing. And he's like, this is a pretty sweet deal for myself. I get to cause some destruction and I get out of jail. You're my literally get out of jail free card. Yeah. No problem. <laughs> literally. I want my phone call to the Powerpuff Girls. Yes. Please let me out. Come get me. <laughs> literally bust me out. And it like sets off alarms every time they do it. But like, yeah. they're literally just busting down the wall. And he gets out. So are there like no walls left on the jail? Now? <laughs> I think they're just they're like that's through a sing- different wall every time. Yeah, I think it's either a different wall every time or the single contractor in Townsville <laughs> is so fucking busy. The real hero of this series. The yeah. unnamed unseen contractor who's fixing everything the Powerpuff Girls do. And also every time they bust him out, you just see like a trail of other criminals like run out to well, that's like, what I was oh, wondering. Yeah, I was free. like, um <laughs> huh? Like what? I guess they do yeah. they do like bust specifically into his cell, but like it's gotta yeah, loosen up the walls yeah. a little bit. Yeah. Like just knock the rest of the bricks down while yeah, you're at it. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. anyway. So we see a montage of this happening over and over again specifically again we see honestly one of the best 
montages in a cartoon ever in which it's like fading in and out of mojo like getting flung into jail in different ways and like being behind bars in different ways as the girls are in the mayor's office literally sticking their tongues out and dropping the candy like an L- like LSD and like <laughs> gum drops like gumballs are like raining Fantastic. among them and they're all like spinning and like dropping more candy on their tongues intercut with mojo flying into jail but as the girls are getting happier and happier, Mojo's getting flung into jail rougher and rougher, and his mm. smile and laughter starts to fade. Mm. He's no longer having a good time on this trip while yeah. the girls are literally tripping balls. On a trip. Balls. Yeah, oh, they're literally <laughs> tripping trip. balls. <laughs> <laughs> and then one day, the deal is still going, and, you know, they beat up Mojo, he gets put in jail, and we see them walking on into the mayor's office ready for Mm -hmm. the candy ready for their fix they just hold out their hands and the mayor says thank you girls so much for saving the day you're the best as always sorry there's no candy for you today (gasps) and all of the sudden all of their eyes are unblinking and their heads just tilt slightly <laughs> oh god and they're standing at his desk and the mayor goes yep yeah, no candy because mojo stole it all and then one of their eyes twitches and says excuse me did you say mojo stole our candy oh no and then Not ahead of y'all. bubbles literally jumps on the mayor's desk gets like two inches from his face and starts screaming at him that the mayor let mojo take their candy and like the mayor starts sweating he starts crying because the other two join in like inches from his face just like screaming at him that this is the mayor's fault that Mm -hmm. the candy is gone aka their fix has been taken because the mayor let mojo take it wow so (sighs) yes the girls bust out of the town hall because they're clearly like mayor you're useless and they go to the jail and to bust through the wall like screaming mojo jojo's name like their eyes are like bigger than ever just like unblinking pupils fully dilated they bust into the jail cell and they're like fully in their fighting stance like mojo jojo Mm -hmm. and mojo's just laying on the bed eaten the candy and he just rolls over to the side and just goes you know don't get me wrong destroying the city on a daily basis was a good gig but to take away what gave you so much joy to destroy your happiness by taking this candy is so much more satisfying to the soul oh goodness and he wow pops in some more candy and the girls just scream you're a bad monkey mojo (laughs) and then they literally just start like wailing and screaming like banshees and start beating the shit out of him and like oh my god not like the beating where it's like oh and then we just like see the arm at the end like you see them like punching his face and like blood splattering out. You see them like kicking like part of his dome top off or like revealing his brain. <laughs> He's like withered on the floor. One of them goes, Oh, what? You want some more? And then they That cont- sounds like Buttercup. <laughs> yeah, it was Buttercup. <laughs> <laughs> and they continue literally kicking the shit out of him until oh, he's like fully beaten to a pulp like he is on the ground like his clothes are tattered he's bleeding in multiple spots his dome covering his brain again is like brain fully exposed like black eye like just like shaking like groaning from pain and the girls are just standing there like fists clenched still just like (sighs) panting like from their anger and then mojo starts crying because he has nothing else he can do but tears start dream just coming flowing out of his eyes down his face because he's in so much pain and blossom all of a sudden realizes what they've done and bubbles (laughs) goes wait oops 
but what about the candy? And Blossom says, no, the candy did this to us. It made us something we're not. Wow. And so we see them fly back to the mayor and they bring him the candy and they bring him, Bubbles is just holding Mojo Jojo, like beaten to like inches of his life. And the mayor is just sitting there still, still crying because he's got oh yelled at. He was being very sad. He hasn't done any work since they left, apparently. <laughs> um, and so the Powerpuff Girls did. They admit to everything they've done. They had, they say sorry for yelling at him. They say they got out of control. They admit to him the conspiracy that they formulated with Mojo Jojo um, to, again, destroy the city, break him out of jail, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, to get the candy mm-hmm. fixes. And the mayor wipes his tears. He's um, not super concerned about the fact that, you know, yeah. they... They conspired. Uh, yeah, it was definitely conspiracy. They committed multiple, t- multiple crimes. <laughs> yeah, this is like maybe so some they committed multiple crimes. Happened. Yeah, they committed Actually, all these crimes. Actually, wow, yeah. Um, yeah insurrection like, in a yeah, way, perhaps. Or like, like, very serious <laughs> crimes. Yeah. <laughs> um, and so the mayor is like, thank you for telling the truth. How about a reward? And like leans over the piece of candy and the girls say, no, like that's the problem. But then they all look at each other and say, well, maybe one more piece and then we flash really kick the habit (laughs) it's the last one it's the last one man i swear flash to the fact that they just went on a fucking bender the candy jar is empty the powerpuff girls are all laying on the floor like of the mayor's office like their bellies are like huge and very full and they're just like moaning obviously coming down from or like ODing it's unclear yeah either way <laughs> like, ODing coming uh-huh. down from like a multi-day long trip like yeah it's unclear but either way all of the candy is gone they mm. say that was their last piece clearly it was not Mm-mm. all the while Mojo is still beat to a pulp on the ground no um, one has taken him to get medical no to seek medical to attention. Hospital. Wow, the they liabilities will, keep keep piling up keep here, building up. It's going to be definitely he's probably Moto looks like he's going to die. This will be on their hands. Mm-hmm. And the narrator says, "What a bittersweet ending that was." And in like the flashing hearts of like they saved the day, it's just the girls laying still, like flat on the ground instead of their superhero poses. So oh, they didn't kick yeah. their drug habit, and that's the end of the story. They didn't kick their addiction. That's Yep. So the girls are addicted to candy now, all on the taxpayer's dime. They also conspired insurrection, treason, et cetera, et cetera, all on the taxpayer's dime. And now they have a drug addiction. The end. <laughs> it was a short episode, but that's but what that's, happened. That's what happened. Yeah. Um, so my initial thought when you said that uh you know, the mayor wanted to give them candy for their, you know, their service or whatever. Uh-huh. I was like, oh God, no, do not give them candy. They already don't know how to control their powers and they're just like <laughs> six years old. They do not need that extra sugar. sugar. Terrifying. But then when it took like the drug addiction turn, <laughs> my whole, I was trying to build up to like this final statement of like this episode brought to you by Nancy and Ronald Reagan. <laughs> Say no to drugs, kids. Bye, but, they never, but they never kicked the addiction. And so nix that <laughs> i think it's like i mean it still is sponsored by them to show what happens if you even take one drug once ever mm-hmm. this is your brain on happen. bubble gum balls <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you'll commit violent crimes you become a criminal you become your own mm-hmm. worst enemy you can't control you can conspire yourself. with super villains yeah your whole life <sighs> revolves getting your next fix you betray mm-hmm. people you act out violently in ways that you exactly. apparently never used to You're irrational yeah. irrational yeah it's just all it took was one this it was, was a gateway gumball it was. <laughs> it took was one hit so like yeah were were they all all the candy was just like in gumball form essentially like just indiscriminate like yeah Yeah. take your yeah imagine this is the your drug of choice audience yeah exactly (laughs) essentially I, i do think based on i 
I think the yeah, it it ranged between like heroin and LSD based on their reactions. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, kind of the like floating down euphoria and the hard come down, the immediate need of the exactly fix. that come down man. Yeah, that, yep, that down. like tripping out, the gumballs flying everywhere, dropping it on their tongues. It um, <laughs> I, it was wild. <laughs> Dropping gumballs, <laughs> dropping balls, gumballs, dropping baby. and and tripping gumballs. Yeah. Wow. So um, okay, uh, bold move by the writing team here. Bold yeah. move. And honestly, um, in when um, Cartoon Network and Warner Bros. hires us to do the live action rewrite, better. Mm-hmm. I mean, one of them clearly is going to have a drug addiction based oh, on this absolutely. episode. Absolutely. Uh, so apparently Bubbles was, they were like trying to write that in already. Oh and I was like, oh God, come on. I personally think it should be Buttercup, but yeah, you know, I, or honestly, no, all three of them should just do it. Yeah, it's yeah, none, whatever. It doesn't but work that out well for any of them, but this is That the definitely basis has for to be it. worked in. Exactly. Yeah, they clearly have addiction brains. It's a disease what? and they clearly have it. Yeah, obviously. They were not well adjusted to the world. The professor, he does his best, you know, he does his best to like show them, oh, here's how you are just like a good little girl too. In addition to being superheroes, here's how you just be a good human being. Here's how you function. Exactly. I don't think he ever really got to that point with them. So yeah, their first taste of something like that. And they're like, whoo. Ooh, 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 it was ooh. zero to 60 to 160 for them in that gumball that's amazing wow. yeah and also like how did the mayor what at a certain point although no i guess they were threatening his life i was like at a certain point you gotta stop giving them this shit <laughs> you see how they're acting but that's right when he did they literally like he probably feared for his life thought yes. that they would kill him again exactly. because of said addiction yep yep they tried Ooh, it's a remember. vicious cycle that's the yeah. lesson of it's this a dark episode girls. it is yeah and like wait mm-hmm. till you watch this episode and see how far they took it with bojo jojo like it was mm-hmm. graphic and again um all to get their gumballs i feel like when we talked about mojo in our first episode and mentioned like memories of the powerpuff girls beating the shit out of him to the extent that like chunks of his brain yes, were exposed in his helmet this is probably the episode <laughs> i was like somehow like loosely remembering yeah. so cannot wait to go back there and have like childhood memories triggered and unlocked <laughs> about the violence and whatnot that we were exposed to the at violence. such a young age yes awesome precisely. What what season was this? Was this early on or was this like um, um or like what year? Um so this is from season three, episode eight A okay. called Candy gotcha. is Dandy, and it was from ah. the year 2000. So Okay. Okay. So well after the, yep. the Reagan days and all that, but yep. they were but still, still trying to teach them young. Don't I mean, do drugs, kids. Say no to drugs. I was gonna say the dare was still coming to our schools. Was. That was the peak in the nineties. That, that was, was the after. Yeah. The, uh, the uh the reagans but i mean yeah crush presidency war on drugs like... quote unquote continued quote unquote quote unquote yeah i guess <laughs> quote, they quote, paid... quote. <laughs> i guess they paid cartoon network for this episode probably honestly yep. this is very random but if you um if you watch with like subtitles on hbo max uh-huh. some of the episodes when they start it's like these subtitles provided to you by warner brothers and or like Hanna barbera and the u.s department of education <laughs> <laughs> like i think they're in by on it the fda yeah <laughs> <laughs> by the united states customs <laughs> yeah by <laughs> narcotics office yeah <laughs> counter intel by the cia yeah <laughs> powerpuff girls is all just a psyop after all this time damn god it all makes sense the god should have known so young. So <laughs> should have known oh man Easy. well anyway yep great so, job thank wow. you wow we all we um, learned a valuable lesson from the powerpuff girls this week and uh when we were children from that yes, episode precisely good job mm-hmm. cartoon network and between now and next week which will be our last powerpuff girls episode for the time yeah. being, um <laughs> Who should our listeners tell about this uh, this educational, inspirational show? Yeah, I guess, you know, I'm not sure if D.A.R.E. is still around, but if they <laughs> I are, wonder. I don't know. I'm not sure. If, mm, if they are, they're not doing a great job, let me <laughs> I tell you. I <laughs> <laughs> show shows like Euphoria would not exist yeah. or would not be successful if D.A.R.E. was uh, 
was in full in full action, <laughs> yeah. full force. But if they are, and if you have a kid who is, you know, at school and has a dare person coming in to give whatever, <laughs> whatever the fuck they talk about, I don't uh-huh. even know. Uh, tell them, yes. tell the dare person, the dare teacher, rep. I don't even oh, freaking know what it is. Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> that thing. That thing. Um, well, after that, um, if if you're in school or if you have a kid who's in school, tell um, tell their health teacher because that's I think usually mm. where Dare would go to talk, like in gym or health class. Sometimes that'd be like the same teacher. Sometimes there are separate yeah. teachers. Um, yeah, go tell that teacher um, about this show because uh, mm-hmm. we talk about health and um, that addiction is How? disease and yeah these small girls couldn't kick it (laughs) they didn't have the help they need unfortunately these uh powerpuff girls are going to be zooted for the rest of the (laughs) the rest rest of their their missions yeah (laughs) at the poor age of six years old that's a rough age to meet addiction yeah boy wow what a dark turn (laughs) yeah it was and again (laughs) on the taxpayer's dime Mm -hmm. fueling Mm -hmm. their addiction so um Mm -hmm. with that not weighing also though not weighing heavily in favor in our as we wind down this calculation yes. of the public good you mentioned it at the beginning of the episode yep, but yeah they are they are not doing a lot of good for the public yeah, no, they, just, they they literally every evidence. crime besides the very first one was their fault <laughs> yeah, to some yes to some degree yeah. they did not help like mojo Seriously. stealing candy from the mayor's office is like okay whatever right and also like so. <laughs> he was hired by them to commit crimes exactly so. like the, those were all their faults so yeah. there's like two crimes in the entire episode that they had nothing to do with but they're like <laughs> the weakest crimes in the episode exactly. <laughs> so yeah. anyway <laughs> yeah so not on that good. note we'll finish up this measurement next week yes. but Today's episode is not weighing heavily for the Powerpuff Girls yeah, not looking good. Not in looking their good. favor. Nope. So, All right. Well, anyway, we'll see y'all next week. Bye. Bye. Thanks for tuning in to Saturday Morning Mysteries. If you enjoyed this episode, please share, rate, review, leave us a like, and drop a comment. We post episodes every Saturday and bonus tune tangents whenever we feel like it. So please subscribe so you don't miss the shenanigans. And if you want to follow us on YouTube, click the bell under the YouTube subscribe button to receive notifications when new videos are posted. And if you want to subscribe to the podcast, we have no idea what you're listening to us on. So just hit the big subscribe button on whatever app you're using. We we believe in you. Give us a follow on Twitter and Instagram at Satmorn Mist, all the abreeds, and let us know if you have any episode or show requests by emailing Saturday Morning Mysteries at gmail.com. Thanks to Jenna Kendall for the logo design and to Ava Sakiki for the music used during this week's episode. See y'all groovy kids next week on Saturday Morning Mysteries. Bye.